Hi, my name is Marilyn and today we'll be unboxing the Aruba AP535. The AP500 series is the first generation of Wi-Fi 6 access points from Aruba. Let's get straight into the unboxing. Here you have your startup guide and safety and compliance documentation. AP535 is an extremely capable access point that sits close to the top of the range in this series. There is nothing else in this box. On the front, you can see the removable sticker with your serial number. On the side, there are two LED status lights. And on the other side, at the top of the AP, is the USB port. Turning it around and on the back, you can see the console port. Console cable is a separately orderable part. Here's the reset button. You will need a pin to reach it if you ever need to use it. Here's the power adapter socket. The power adapter is not included with the AP. You'll have to order it separately if required, but it's easier to power the unit using PoE. And in the corner here is the Kensington lock socket. The AP comes with the bottom part of the mounting bracket pre-installed. The top part of the mounting brackets can be ordered separately. Check out our AP500 series indoor mounting brackets video for more details. There are two Ethernet ports recessed on the side, which makes it possible to mount the unit almost flush with the ceiling. Please note that AP535 requires more than 30 watts of power to operate, so you will need an 802.3 BT capable switch, or alternatively use two PoE Plus ports. Both E0 and E1 ports are smart rate and PoE capable. And there you have it. For more information about Aruba access points, email aruba.presales at dickadada.com.au or build your own solution using our AP500 series configurator at phoenixpro.club. Thank you for watching.